Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I straighten my hair or flat iron my hair as the people of America say or in the States, whatever. So this is the hair straightener that I have. It has pretty, um, pretty par pattern on it. I have this about four, five years, I think nearly six. And it's the best hair straightener of all. Um, it has, it's actually plugged in at the moment, and it has temperature control, digital control on it. It's called Corelius or something, I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I will link these straighteners down below so you can go and check them out. They are um, on the expensive side, I think they're about uh, two f $250 for one. I will link it below because you can see all the, the lovely patterns that come and designs that they come in and um, this is a I don't know it doesn't actually say whether what kind of an inch it is but it's the HC2L version and I have this about six years it's the best thing that ever I purchased the plates are meant to they're kind of whatever's in the plates they actually kill the bad bacteria in your hair which is quite good so that's why I use it all the time and you know, you wouldn't have to straighten your hair every single day because when, once you straighten it, unless you wash your hair, um, you know, every day, then, and if you're like one of the people, one of these people that straightens your hair every day because you wash it every day, again, it's not good for your hair to be straightened every day. I don't straighten my hair every day. I wash it every few days. I don't straighten it because it, it's, it goes up to quite quite high of a temperature and I don't want to scald my hair. I have scalded my ears quite a few times um, and you can curl your hair with this because the outside it gets hot as well. And I'll just demonstrate really quickly. If you just kind of turn it like this. Okay, maybe not. But you can see you you got some kind of a, a wave. That was just a quick little demonstration um anyway i'm gonna get on to straightening my hair so i'm just gonna put back um about half of it i don't do it in really small sections because my hair is quite fine and um, if you have thick hair you would have to do it in smaller sections i have about half of my hair down um so that way it keeps them falling um that way then I don't singe my hair because it's not too thin. Um if you get if you know what I mean. The sections aren't really thin so that the hair the hair wouldn't singe. Just take off my specs there. And um what I do, what I like to do is get my my fingers like in a comb and go straight and at the bottom just do a little like a curving motion so that it's at the bottom it's not dead straight because if it's dead straight at the bottom uh, it would actually your hair would actually have a lot of flyouts fly aways it would have a lot of flyaways so just I do this quite quickly um, when I my hair was all the same length and kind of in a bob um, I would kind of make it uh, uh, with a lot of volume. I would make it with a lot of volume and uh, because if you can see my ear, one of my ears sticks out. So I kind of have to make it um, like, I suppose like a little bump so that my ear doesn't stick out through my hair. Um, which I always had a problem when I was growing up. So that is why just get I like to kinda slightly not curl but slightly just kinda make a little twist with the end of the hair so that it's not dead straight. And it makes it way better like that. It's very um very put together then. Then I just get the rest of my hair. And because I have 
my hair parted this way, I have less hair on this side than I have on this side, so I'm just going to get some of this here. And I'm going to put it up. I have actually no scrunchie, so that is why I'm using a clip. I don't really use um, combs or, or brushes for this because my hair is quite fine and it's quite easy to do. If you have thick hair, I think you would need a brush. You know, I like a comb like they use in salons. Um, another thing, I bought this hair straightener in the salon that I was working in was it five or six years ago. I can't really remember now. Um, and I think I bought it for 150 so it was a discount to me the fact that I was working in the salon see the way my hair just falls like that see if I done it straight see how it kind of sticks out this way and so this is a trick for anybody who straightens their hair they find they have a lot of bits of wisps that are sticking out and you don't know what to do with them get your hair and just run it like that there is a bump there but that is to match this side of the hair as well so that one one side of my hair isn't has a bump and the other doesn't so that like that so you're not actually straighten your hair straight down like that you're straighten it at an angle and um, another tip I would suggest it would be not to not to leave your hair um, on the iron for too long because it would singe your hair and your hair is quite hot after it so don't put it behind your ear and always make sure to use heat protectant I didn't mention that at the start of, it, of the video um, which I have IP protectant in my hair before I started this video just to kill time and the fact that I want to say a few things at the start of the video um, another trip to another trick I wouldn't advise um, or another piece of advice I would advise to you would if you were curling your hair with an iron like this uh, make sure to do it and see how you like it. Don't, if you're going out, don't uh, curl your hair and then decide, oh God, it's horrible, I think I'm going to straighten it. It's very hard to straighten your hair after you have curled it, especially one, with one of these, because it's so hot, the curls actually stay for quite a long time and you have to run the curling iron quite a few times over the hair so it would damage your hair, as you can see, the bit that I had waved or curled, it's not as straight as as any other part of the hair was, because this was already healed. So, for this, I would suggest to have a comb, because this would be um, the process would be quite hot. My hair there is quite hot, um, and if you're one of these people that can't, that are very have very soft hands and to heat let's say I would suggest to use a comb um, I am kind of prone to heat at the moment well I am since I was working in a kitchen and um, my fingertips are quite tough now so it kind of doesn't bother me that much um, the curl actually has worked a little bit to my advantage now just like that um, since I have a little, uh, small little hairs there, I usually try to kind of push them in so that nobody notices them. And final few touches, make sure that all the hair is falling into place and it's not, you know, one bit is straight and another isn't, you know, that it kind of falls into place and it looks like it's well put together um, it looks like you just got out of bed and you have perfect straight hair now that is how I use my curling iron and how I straighten my hair 
always remember to turn it off because it's quite hot and make sure to have it on a surface that will not generate heat and burn down the house and though this does cool quite quickly I still wouldn't have it on wood maybe or on uh, a cloth if you have um, you know the mats, special mats um, they're quite good as well but I don't have any so I usually put it like on a fireplace or I hand it over a chair for about 5 to 10 minutes and let it cool and then um, always make sure that you test it before you wrap the cord around it because it'll burn um, that's that is it I hope you've all enjoyed my videos and especially this video make sure to like subscribe and comment and I will talk to you all in the next video bye